Stephen King is known as the master of horror, having made several of the most classic horror stories. His books are often adapted for movie screens, yielding good successes. But that doesn't go with some horrifying movie scenes as we'll learn in this video. Whether they're taken directly from the books or a product of some creative liberty, these scenes haunt memories. Make sure you stick with me to the end of the video. Without any further delay, let's get into it. Why it's safe to call Stephen King the master of horror. In addition to writing 200 short stories, many of King's works have been made into TV series or movies. His adaptations are some of the scariest horror films in existence, and there are bound to be some scenes that are so terrifying to watch, it's practically an endurance test for the audience. From Pennywise's first gruesome kill to the eerie Grady sisters, some scenes from movies based on King's work will always remain memorable, simply because their terror is hard to forget. Stay with me, let's remember some. The first movie in our list is It. Let's talk about the Georgie's arm scene. The fear that many people have of clowns is very old, but if there's one responsible for increasing coolerophobia, it was Stephen King. I think that the most terrifying scene in this movie was when a yellow raincoat clad Georgie followed his paper boat to a drain. He got the terror of his short little life. After a creepy conversation with Pennywise, the killer clown chomped on Georgie's arm, leaving the boy to drag himself to safety as blood poured into the raindrops on the street, before he's pulled into the drain by Pennywise, never to be seen again. The next terrifying King's movie scene is Gage's return in Pet Cemetery. As if the pets in Pet Cemetery weren't scary enough, one young human was the star of the movie's most terrifying scene. After Lewis's son Gage died in a tragic accident, the father buried his son in the same cemetery that brought a deceased cat back to life. But much like the possessed cat, when Gage returned from the dead, he was not the same sweet little boy he once was. The child, with a crazed grimace, went on a murderous rampage that included hanging his mother and biting chunks out of his father's flesh. It was quite a terrifying scene. From the later release of the movie, I liked the darker atmosphere and the alternate ending, but I'll never forget the fear brought by the original movie. That damn cat will terrify you for the rest of your life. Carrie also came with its scary scenes. Featuring a young sissy Spacek as Carrie White, the movie directed by Brian De Palma was about a teenager who was a constant victim of bullying at school. What people didn't know was that the girl had psychic powers, and when she reached the limits, well, better not get into the details. Oh no, it's good that you should know. While the prom scene was the most recognizable part of the movie, it's the ending that will always make you flinch. After Carrie's mother attempted to murder her daughter by coming after her with a knife, Carrie used her powers to send another knife through the air and straight into her mother's hand, pinning her to the wall. Carrie let several knives fly and stab into her mother until she died. It's far more cinematic than Margaret's quiet but still unnerving death. Her heart stopped in the book. Next, we have the Come Play With Us scene in The Shining. The Shining is one of those horror movies that will leave you sitting and staring for a moment once the credits roll. While it has several disturbing scenes, the introduction to the Grady sisters is one that might be hard to erase from your memory. When Danny rode his tricycle down the hotel hallway and ran into the twin girls, they asked Danny to come play with them before the scene flashed to Danny's vision of the girls' corpses surrounded by blood after they were killed by their father. I know a lot of people would want to kill me for this, but despite considering The Shining a great movie, as an adaptation it never pleased me. Oops, sorry to say that. But yes, the work done by Stanley Kubrick in the direction and by Jack Nicholson as the protagonist was exquisite, but it always bothered me the way the movie changed the original story so much. Stephen King himself would have complained in the same vein. Still on the movie The Shining, the red rum scene was quite terrific. From his murderous visions to the imaginary friend that lived in his mouth, Danny Lloyd was an exceptionally creepy child in the movie The Shining, but one scene in particular might just make you rethink having children. LOL, just kidding. Well, while his mom Wendy was asleep, Danny wrote the word red rum on her door with red lipstick, then proceeded to repeat the word in a frightening voice while holding a knife over her as she slept. When Wendy woke up, she screamed when she noticed the word red rum right side round in her mirror, reading murder. If you've seen the movie, you'll agree with me that this scene was quite terrifying to see. Or are you the stone-hearted type that don't just get scared? Next is a scene in It Chapter 2. It Chapter 2 is arguably even scarier than the first movie, following Pennywise's return to torment the adult versions of the kids from Derry at once battled. And while the old lady scene and the fortune cookie catastrophe are memorable moments, it's the Paul Bunyan scene that wins for the creepiest of the movie. Richie was already afraid of clowns, but he could add statues 
statues to the list after Derry's Paul Bunyan statue came to life in front of him, his smolder turning into a bat-infested evil grin as he chased after the child. When Richie had a rethink back on the moment as an adult, he's visited by Pennywise, who floated down by a bouquet of red balloons and did his signature shaking motion toward him. It was indeed a scary scene. Next up, the car scene in Cujo. Cujo is ultimately one of the most terrifying concepts in the work of Stephen King. When your beloved dog takes a turn for the worst and turns into a rabid killing machine. But for all of Cujo's terror, the car scene featuring Donna and her son was the scariest. Donna assumed she was safe inside a car with her young son, until Cujo hunted them down and appears jump scare style in the passenger window, trying to attack them until Donna finally rolls the window up on the pooch. The next of his movie with quite some scary scenes in our list is Misery. Misery is any author's worst nightmare, a fan so obsessed with your work that they kidnap you and torture you until you write a book and meet their every last desire for their favorite characters. The life of famous writer Paul Sheldon was going well, until one day he got into a car accident. Badly injured, the guy was rescued by a retired nurse named Annie Wilkes, but what he didn't know was that the nightmare was just beginning. A fan of the author, the woman discovered that he will kill her favorite character in an upcoming book, and then proceeded to subject Sheldon to a series of tortures. The most memorable and shuddering moment of the movie was when Annie placed a block of wood between Paul's tied ankles and began bashing each ankle with a sledgehammer, breaking both of his legs so he doesn't attempt to escape. It's even gorier in the book, with flat-out dismemberment. Although James Caan is very good in the role of the writer, Kathy Bates' performance and her sledgehammer. This film was so impressive that it won her an Oscar. Years later, she returned to play another character created by the master of horror, Dolores Claiborne, in an also-good movie, Total Eclipse. Next up, let's highlight on the terrific nature of the scene, Moochie vs. Christine in Christine. Leave it to Stephen King to turn a Plymouth Fury into an 80s slasher villain. When the titular car character of Christine turned sentient and vowed payback on her owner's bullies, Moochie wound up in the middle of nowhere and suddenly saw Christine roll up to him, and when the car flashed her headlights and sped after him, the bully ran away during the iconic chase scene. But the terror came when Moochie got stuck at a dead end in an alleyway, and Christine squeezed her way through until she crushed him against the wall. You can imagine how terrifying such a scene was. Wrapping it up, we have the Pennywise's projector scene in It. Between the 1990 miniseries and the 2017 remake, the movie is full of plenty of memorably horrifying moments, but one in particular from the 2017 film will make you timid to ever use a projector again. When the group of friends watched a projection of old photos in Bill's garage, a woman in a picture slowly started to resemble Pennywise before the photo suddenly came to life and the garage went dark. A jump scare ensued when the scene brightened and a large, monstrous Pennywise climbed out of the projection. That concludes today's video. If you found the video helpful, please do consider giving us a thumbs up. And don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. See you next time!